welcome back to the fourth part of our lesson hope you are enjoying the class the topic for this part of the lesson is socio economic and environmental impact of transportation in developing country socio economic and environmental impact of transportation in developing countries. Transport and economic development. Transport and economic development. In today's world, Transportation is a key element of the global economy. It has changed the face of employment, trade, families, life, and health care, bringing benefits that were unimaginable 100 years ago. However, the price we are paying in form of road crashes, mortality and mobility for such benefits is too high. In response, irrespective of how good it and transportation has been to the global economy, it still has own disadvantages. transportation network of any country is of vital importance to its development and it affects all sectors through economic linkage. A reliable transportation network also provides swift access to labor force and hence generates employment opportunities. It has been widely recognized that economies with better roads and communication network are positioned more advantageous, advantageously in terms of overall competitiveness as compared to economics having poor networks. Enhancements in transportation and telecommunication benefits industries agriculture and other services sectors as well as improving the standard of living of the general public it is therefore crucial that investment be made to develop and maintain an efficient network of transportation and telecommunication to ensure cost efficient integration of markets, both domestically and internationally. We move to the role the roles of transport in economic development of developing countries roles of transport in economic development of developing countries based on the con concept of sustainable development of society the transport have a significant importance for the balanced development of economic and social system of a country The eternal dimension of transport leads to opportunities and benefits of economic and social influence throughout the economy. We 
when the transportation system is lagging behind, losses occur due to decrease international trade. When transport system is lagging behind, losses occur due to decrease international trade. In development and diversification of trade between countries worldwide, international freight tra transport has an important role. Transport activities is premises in achieving economic operation agreements in order to bring in world cycles region across and around the globe by creating a distribution system open to needs of potential beneficiaries. Among the factors that contribute to the upward trend include boost economic exchange between countries, by increasing the number of partners and areas involved in international trade cross-border relocation of world production as part of globalization resulting in the formation of international values added chain uneven distribution of primary factors structural changes occurring in trend accentuate accentuated the, divers, the diversification of production of goods, development and related service, in particular the storage of earnings which require improve of work and organization. Qualities of services of international shipping companies with the implementation of quality standards in service providers. Transport, however, is a potential pollutant of the environment with implication for humans. The effect of on the on of on the economic of transport activities can be direct and indirect. Then what is direct effect? Direct effects refer to the availability of markets in which case transport provide connection to large market outlets and saving times and money. Indirect impact is related to the economic multiplier's effect where the price of goods and services increase with diversification. We move to social economic impact assessment. Social economic impact assessment. According to the most established definition by Carter and Co. 1985, social economic impact assessment aims at estimating those effects which characterize and influence the community, social and economic well-being, and may be grouped in the following categories, economic demographic impact, public service impact, social impact, fiscal impact, and qualities of life. However, according to this definition, economic demographic impact mainly concerns change in the economic system, that is, the growth or decline of cities and region, location, pattern of firm, price of goods and services, level of incomes in the employment, that is the labor market, structure, employment and unemployment rate, in demography, variable such as age, gender, debt age, debt rate, rate of school attendance and education, migration two public service impact this involves services in education health care security and defense garbage system water energy and so on social impact concerns land use pattern in bracket the household fame 
public services such as hospitals, schools, public parks, property, and transportation. Fiscal impacts include variation in tax yield due to economic changes. Qualities of life. Qualities of life is a social well-being that is related to the four categories previously mentioned. Examples of such positive possible indicators include security with regard to thefts and crime, suicide and alcoholism, alcoholism rates, equality and equity, employment and family stability. Environmental impact of transportation in developing countries. Environmental impact of transportation in developing countries. Environmental impact of transport is significant because transport is a major use of energy and burn most of the world petroleum, which contributes to air pollution, such as nitrous oxide and particulates, and is a significant contributor to global warming through emission of carbon dioxide. Road transportation is the largest contributor to global warming among all the transport sectors. Another environmental impact of transport system are traffic congestion, automobile-oriented urban sprawl, which consume natural habitats and agricultural lands. Part of the direct impacts can be described as noise pollution, carbon dioxide emission, which create direct and harmful effects on the environment. The indirect impacts are often of higher consequence, which lead to misconception. That is the opposite, since it's frequently understood that initial effect cause the most damage for instance particulates which are the outcome of incomplete combustion done by an internal combustion engine are not linked with the respiratory and cardiovascular problem that contribute to other factors, not only to that specific condition, even though the environmental impacts are usually listed individually, there are also cumulative impacts. We've come to the end of the class today. Please check for your question of assessment at the next slide. Thank you.